Hello, I'm Kurt Young, and this is Hybrid Reality Roundup, a community for hybrid cloud practitioners powered by Camp Technologies' team of experts. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the deployment of an HA pair of Camp Loadmasters in Azure using Azure Resource Manager, or better known as ARM templates. With the use of ARM templates, entire solutions can be automated with consistency and speed. Since the Azure ecosystem is built on Resource Manager, these deployments can be in Azure Public Cloud, Azure for Government, or Azure Stack. Before we get into the demonstration, I'd just like to take a moment to illustrate what the deployment looks like. To start off, the template will create a virtual network and subnet. It'll create two load masters that will be placed in a new availability set, which will provide that necessary high availability. An Azure load balancer is required to route traffic to the available load master. In addition to these resources, a public IP address will be configured on the Azure Load Balancer to provide that external access for our published workloads. A backend pool will be set up and associated with the two load masters. Inbound NAT rules will allow us for accessing those individual load masters via our web user interface, or SSH. Of course, load balancing rules used to publish our workloads. And probes to check the availability of the Kemp Load Masters. Finally, network security group to limit the ports and secure our environment. Now, all this can be accomplished manually, and at Kemp, we've outlined it clearly in our deployment guide found on KempTechnologies.com. But today, we're going to save some time and automate this with ARM templates. Microsoft provides a quick start template gallery, which is provided for anyone looking to leverage ARM templates for their deployments. Now, there's hundreds of templates of all kinds of solutions available in Azure. For our demonstration, we'll search for Kemp. And we'll see we have several options. So I'll select the Kemp Loadmaster HA pair. On the default page, we have some information about the required parameters and how to deploy the template via PowerShell or CLI. I can also browse the template on GitHub to gain direct access where users have the ability to download it and integrate it into their own solution templates. So if we open this up to take a peek, it's broken down into a few sections. First, we have the parameters section, which allows the user to provide values during the deployment. In this template, the only required parameter is for the default BAL account password the Loadmaster uses once deployed. Next, we have the variables. Now, these are values that will be used throughout the template. Compared to parameters, these are more like hard-coded values, and users will not have the ability to provide values during the deployment. However, these values can be modified directly in the ARM template or some customers may want to download the template, modify it, and move some of those up to parameters. Moving down, we have the resources section. This is where all those components are outlined that are part of this solution, such as the availability set, the virtual network, network security group, and so on. If we go back to the main template page, we have the ability to deploy directly to Azure. This will open my Azure subscription and insert the template for deployment. Once open, we have the option to edit the template to change some of those variables, for instance. But to deploy the solution, we just need to provide a resource group name, either existing or new. I'll keep the location as East US. Just provide the password for that default BAL account. Agree to the terms and conditions and purchase the solution. Okay, let's fast forward three minutes and eight seconds and we can see that our template has deployed successfully and we have a total of 10 items. This template also provides an output which can be used to write any information so that it's easily accessible. Here we have the output of the external FQDN of the Azure Load Balancer. So now I can take this, paste it into a new browser, and just tack on port 8441 that is configured within the NAT rules of the Azure Load Balancer for accessing Loadmaster Zero. And now I can log in using the username BAL and the password that I provided during the deployment. I'll speed up the process of licensing the Loadmaster as well as accessing the second Loadmaster, which is accessible on the same FQDN but using port 8442. When licensing the Kemp Loadmaster, it'll require me to enter my Kemp ID so that I can obtain my trial license. Once we have both Loadmasters licensed, 
I'll just need to configure the HA settings through the web user interface. Starting off with Loadmaster 0, or the master in this HA pair, I'll navigate the system configuration and then HA and clustering. We'll select HA mode and set this Loadmaster as master and then enter the other Loadmaster's IP address as well as port 8444, which is what is used for the Azure Load Balancer probe. Now moving on to Loadmaster 1, or the slave in this HA pair, I'll again navigate to HA and clustering, but this time I'll select slave and enter the master's IP address, and again, the probe port of 8444. To test out the configuration of the cluster, I can open a new tab and navigate to the FQDN once again, but this time on port 8444. This will provide the information on the health of the HA cluster. As we can see, the master is up. Now, if I were to go back into the web user interface of the master and reboot it, we can then go back, refresh the page, and see that the master has gone down and the slave has now taken over. Hopefully this demonstration has provided some insight to how powerful ARM templates can be in your hybrid cloud solution. If you haven't already, please join the HRR community where you'll be able to access the serial ebook, our bi-monthly newsletter and webinars led by industry experts, Lastly, for a limited time, you will also have access to the report 2017 Azure Application Delivery by the Numbers. This report provides insights into application delivery in Microsoft Azure, including the most widely deployed applications and services in Azure. We look forward to your valuable participation in the hybrid reality roundup community, and thanks for watching.